Uh, welcome back, everyone. So, this is a series of coordinate geometry, and in today's video, we will learn about circles. So, imagine this graph, and imagine this is a perfect circle. Um, I know the graph is not accurate at all. Let me let me try to draw another one. Okay, this looks better. So imagine we have this circle. And let me just switch to another color now. So if we take any point on the circle, let's label it as x, y. So if we take any point x, y on the circle, and we know the equation of the, we know the point of the origin of the circle for this Let's say the origin is at 0 and 0. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can actually find the equation of a circle. So the, the thing we need to find uh, the equation of a circle is the radius of the circle. And to find the radius, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we would construct a right angle triangle like this. And this would be our x this would be our y so the radius squared would be x squared plus y squared so the most basic equation of a circle is r squared equals x squared plus y squared but this is when center is zero and zero because Basically, the leg, this leg of the triangle would be just x minus 0. And this leg, this leg would be y minus 0, which is just x. And this is just y. But let's say the origin is not 0 and 0. So let's have a different. So let's have a different circle. And let's say the circle's origin is at 3 and 4. Or just for the sake of uh, generalization, let's say it's x1. Let's say the origin is x1 and y1. So, not the origin, but the center. So, the center is x1 and y1 and now let's take any random point on the circle so let's pick this point for example and let's label it as again x and y so if we were to find the equation of the circle once again we would construct a right angle triangle But now, this leg, like the two legs, are not y minus 0. So the legs are actually y minus y1 and x minus x1. Because we're finding the, like, the length of the leg. So the radius would actually be, so the radius squared would be x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared. So this is our equation of a circle. So let me just label it equation of a circle with center x1 and y1 okay now let's have an example so let's say example let's say we have the circle and let's say its center is three and four. Oh my god what this is what is this yeah let's say center is three and four 
and we're given some point x and y how would we find the equation of this circle well uh, we will construct a right angle triangle once again so it would be something like this if i just zoom in it would be something like this um that's not very accurate yeah this is more accurate and let's say this is r so how would we actually find r using the pythagorean theorem so we know that the length of the legs are x minus 3 and y minus 4 so using the pythagorean theorem r squared would be x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared all right that's great and now let's actually have an example where we know a certain point on the line or on the like on the circle itself so let's have a circle and let's say this is five and three and let's say this is one and two the the center so this is actually not the not the coordinate axis but the center of the circle so let's say this o is the center of the circle and the and o o's coordinates are one and two and we're given another point on the circle let's call it p and the coordinate of p is five and three so how would we actually find the equation of the circle so once again we will construct a right angle triangle something like this um that's not very accurate okay yeah my scuffed triangle is better so how would we actually find this like the two legs so we know that this point is five and two and we know that this point is three and five uh no i messed that up not three and five but five and three five and three so we will just subtract the x coordinate of the point from the x coordinate of the or of the center and the y coordinate of the point from the y coordinate of the center of the circle so to find the radius it would be r squared equals five minus one squared plus 3 minus 2 squared so r squared would be 4 squared plus 1 squared so r squared would be 17 which means that the radius of this circle would be the square root of 17 all right now after we found the radius uh, we can plug that in to the general equation of a circle so the general equation was this one r squared equals x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared where the center is x1 and y1 and it's r squared so let's plug that in so we have our r and so r squared would be just 17. so the equal the center of the circle is one and two so the equation the equation of the circle would be x minus 1 squared plus 1 minus 2 squared equals 17 because it is the like it's r squared so r is square root of 17 so r squared is going to be 17. so that's the equation of this circle this one right here so the center is 1 and 2 so it's going to be x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared so that's basically the equation of a circle all right and now let's look at some examples so let's say we have 
Let me change the color. Okay. So this is example 11. Example 11 says find the equation of the circle with center minus 5 and 7 and radius 6. So we should find the equation. Okay, so we know that the equation of a circle is x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared equals r squared. So let's just plug in the values and uh, where the center is x1 and y1. Yeah, so now let's just plug in. So our x1 is minus 5. So min minus minus 5 is going to be plus 5. And then y minus 7 squared equals r squared. r is 6, so r squared would be 36. So the equation is this. That's our correct answer. Okay. And now let's have a different example. So now we have example 12. Example 12 asks, find the center. So this time we should find the center and radius. Find the center and radius of the circle with the equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x. Uh, sorry, I just went a bit off track. <laughs> y squared minus 10x plus 12y plus 12 equals 0. All right. So this is the equation. And we should find the center and the radius. All right. First of all, let's rearrange the formula, the equation a bit. So let's move the x's close to the x's and y's close to the y's. So the first step would be rearranging, rearrange, and that would give us x squared minus 10x plus y squared plus 12y, and then plus 12 equals 0. All right, now what we're going to do is complete the square complete the square all right so how do we complete the square so if you want a video tutorial if you don't know how to complete the square uh, you can check out the YouTube channel my YouTube channel and there should be a video on how to complete the square soon so stay tuned but i'll just do it assuming that you know how to do it so that would be x minus 5 squared and then we would have minus 25 and then we would have y plus 6 squared and minus 36 and then a plus 12 and this equals to zero and now if we combine like terms, so we're rearranging again, basically. If we rearrange again, that would give us x minus 5 squared plus y plus 6 squared and minus 25 minus 36 plus 12. All of that will equal, if I just plug that in my calculator, all of that it will equal minus 49 and this equals to zero and now let's move 49 to the other side so what we're actually going to do is add 49 to both sides of the equation so plus 49 plus 49 and that will give us x minus 5 squared plus y plus 6 squared equals 49 and we achieved the equation 
of the circle in the form x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared equals r squared, where the center is x1 and y1. So, from this equation, we will find out that our center is going to be 5 and minus 6, and our r squared is 49. So, the radius is going to be, so r squared is 49, yes, so r can be either plus or minus 7, but we know that radius cannot be negative, so r is going to be just 7. So we actually, um, this is what happened here, I don't know, but it should be minus 6, yeah. So the center should be 5 and minus 6. So we found our correct answer. So the answer would be radius is 7 and center is 5 and minus 6. That's our answer. So thanks for watching uh, circles, which is a subtopic of coordinate geometry. And the next video will be points of intersection and circle properties.